Top 5 Cryptids of Arizona Number 5. The Coyote Man In the vast, sun-drenched expanse of the Arizona desert, there's a wealth of natural beauty and a profound sense of history of both land and people. Amongst this backdrop, tales of cryptids and mysterious creatures have woven themselves into the fabric of regional folklore, captivating the imaginations of believers, locals, and visitors. Among these is the Coyote Man, a creature that elicits a blend of intrigue and trepidation. The origins of the Coyote Man can be traced back to Native American mythology, particularly within the Navajo tradition where the concept of the skinwalker holds a significant and somewhat taboo presence. In these cultures, the coyote is often seen as a trickster, a shapeshifter, and a creature of great power and ambiguity. The skinwalker, or Yinal Blushi, is believed to be a witch or medicine man who has attained the highest level of priesthood in the witchcraft practice, but chooses to use these powers to transform into an animal, often taking the form of a coyote. It is within this mystical framework that the Coyote Man finds his roots. To the Navajo and other tribes, the Coyote is a creature of great intelligence, resourcefulness, and often, a harbinger of change or mischief. The amalgamation of these characteristics gives birth to the concept of a being that transcends the physical limitations of man or beast, creating a cryptid that is both feared and revered. Over the years, there have been numerous reported sightings of the Coyote Man in various locales across Arizona. Witnesses often describe a creature that seems to be neither fully human nor coyote, but a disturbing fusion of the two. Some report a creature walking on two legs with the visage of a coyote, but with human-like eyes that betray an intelligence beyond that of a simple wild animal. Others claim to have encountered a creature that resembles a man but moves with the uncanny grace and agility of a coyote. These sightings are often met with skepticism, but for those who have seen the coyote man, the experience is deeply visceral and real. It's not uncommon for these encounters to be accompanied by a sense of unshakable fear, a primal reaction to something that defies conventional understanding. Here are a couple fairly recent reports. In 2018, a woman named Jessica was driving on a rural road near Flagstaff, Arizona, when she saw something that terrified her. She said it looked like a man with a coyote head, standing on two legs by the road. It had brown fur, yellow eyes, pointed ears, and a snout full of sharp teeth. Jessica said it stared at her car as she passed by, and she felt a chill run down her spine. She sped up and didn't look back until she reached the nearest town. She reported her sighting to the local authorities, but they dismissed it as a hoax or a hallucination. This second account happened in 2016 when a group of hikers encountered a strange creature in the Grand Canyon National Park. They said it was about six feet tall, with a muscular body and long arms. It had a coyote's face but with humanish features, with a bushy tail, a black nose, and whiskers. It walked on two legs, but sometimes dropped to all fours. It seemed to be following them, but keeping its distance. They said it made growling and howling noises, and at certain points seemed to be trying to speak in an odd language they couldn't understand. They managed to finally drive it off by throwing rocks at it and yelling. The presence of such a creature as the Coyote Man in modern-day cryptid lore raises many questions about the intersection of myth, psychology, 
and the potential of unexplored natural phenomena. While the scientific community typically dismisses such creatures due to a lack of empirical evidence, the study of cryptids like the Coyote Man falls into the field of cryptozoology, which often contends with the challenges of investigating subjects that are deeply enmeshed in myth and folklore. Psychologists might suggest that sightings of the Coyote Man are a form of mass cultural hallucination or misidentification of known wildlife, although it's important to note that their profession was built on practices like hammering long metal spikes into people's brains and confining and sedating people to death. Others propose that such cryptids may be unknown species that have managed to escape scientific classification. The desert, with its harsh conditions and remote expanses, certainly provides an ample landscape for the unknown to remain hidden. The tales of the Coyote Man extend beyond mere speculation about an individual cryptid, they speak to a broader human experience. The stories serve as a reminder of the mystery that still exists in the world, even in an age dominated by technology and information. They also reflect a deep connection that indigenous cultures have with the land and the natural world, a relationship that often transcends the empirical and enters the realm of the spiritual and mystical. Moreover, the tales of the Coyote Man carries with it a warning, much like the traditional role of the coyote in Native American stories, a reminder of the balance of life, the presence of mischief and chaos, and the price of disrespecting nature's laws. In conclusion, the Coyote Man of Arizona is a complex figure that embodies the interplay between indigenous culture, regional folklore, and the human psyche. While skeptics may dismiss the reports as fanciful tales, for believers and those who claim to have encountered this elusive creature, the Coyote Man is a very real presence. The stories and sightings persist continuing to contribute to the immersive mosaic of Arizona's cryptid lore and igniting the imaginations of those who hear them. As we reflect on the uncanny nature of such cryptids, it becomes clear that they offer us more than just tales of mystery and fear, they present a portal to understanding our own beliefs, the depths of our culture, and the enduring allure of the unknown. Whether the Coyote Man is a flesh and blood creature or a symbolic representation woven from the threads of myth and reality, its legend is indelibly etched into the cultural landscape of Arizona and the broader realm of cryptid lore. Number 4. The Gila Monster Man In the heart of the Southwest, amidst the arid landscapes of Arizona, tales of unusual creatures and confounding beasts have long been part of the local folklore. Among these is the lesser known, yet intriguing, Gila Monster Man, a cryptid that supposedly embodies characteristics of both human and the venomous Gila Monster Lizard. To understand the Gila Monster Man, one must first consider the creature from which its name is partly derived, the Gila monster, Hiloderma suspectum. The Gila monster is one of only a few venomous lizards in the world and is native to the southwestern United States, primarily dwelling in Arizona. It is recognized by its beaded skin and colorful pattern, and though its venom is potent, it is not typically fatal to humans. Some may find it more palatable to believe that the Gila Monster Man myth may have emerged from the human propensity to personify and exaggerate natural features, creating hybrid creatures that inhabit the edges of our imagination. That it's possible that the discovery of Gila monsters, combined with their unusual and fearsome appearance, provided fertile ground for stories of a larger, more humanoid version of the creature. 
Well, after encountering a few humanoid cryptids myself in my one small patch of the planet, I wouldn't doubt the existence of anything anymore. While concrete evidence of the Gila Monster Man is virtually non-existent, anecdotal reports have surfaced from time to time, painting a picture of a creature that is both compelling and mysterious. Witnesses often describe a bipedal entity with rough, scaly skin akin to that of a Gila monster, but standing at a height comparable to that of a man. Its eyes are said to possess a reptilian quality, and its demeanor is consistently described as elusive. These sightings are typically relegated to the category of local legend, rarely making it into the annals of serious cryptid investigations. However, for those who have claimed to see it, the Gila Monster Man is as real as any other cryptid believed to roam the less-traveled paths of the world. Reports of this creature are hard to come by but I managed to find a relatively recent one. A group of hikers spotted a Gila Monster Man near Kingman, Arizona, in October of 2021. They said they saw it emerge from a cave and walk across the road. They said it looked like a cross between a man and a lizard, with scaly skin, clawed hands, a forked tongue, and also noted it had red eyes. They said it made a hissing sound and showed its teeth and that they were terrified and ran away from it. They reported their sighting to the local authorities and the cryptozoology research team, which I'm assuming is a local research group, who investigated the area and found some tracks that matched the description of the creature. The Gila Monster Man, while not as prominent as other cryptids like Bigfoot or Dogmen, contributes to the impressive web of American folklore. It represents a region-specific legend that offers insight into how the people of the Southwest perceive and interact with the mysteries of the natural world around them. In local culture, stories of the Gila Monster Man may serve various purposes, from cautionary tales warning the unaware away from potential danger to campfire stories meant to thrill and entertain. The cryptid's alleged ability to blend into its surroundings also speaks to the broader themes of adaptation and survival, which are especially resonant in the harsh environments of the Southwest. The Gila Monster Man of Arizona, a creature of myth and speculation, stands as a testament to the power of local folklore and the enduring human fascination with the unknown. Although there is no scientific evidence to support its existence, the Gila Monster Man remains an intriguing subject for those who are captivated by the world of cryptids. It embodies the intersection of the familiar and the fantastic, inviting us to wonder at the possibilities that lie just beyond the realm of the proven and the visible. In the spirit of cryptid lore, the Gila Monster Man continues to spark the imagination, encouraging us to look closer at the shadows that flit across the desert plains and to consider the mysteries that might yet roam the unexplored corners of our world. Number 3. El Chupacabras of Phoenix The American Southwest is a region steeped in myths, legends, ass, and bacon, where the harsh beauty of the desert landscape seems to inspire tales of the strange and supernatural. Among the numerous folkloric creatures that are said to inhabit this area, none has captured the public's imagination quite like the El Chupacabra. From Puerto Rico, where reports of this fugly beast first emerged in the 1990s, the legend of the Chupacabra has spread throughout the Americas, including the state of Arizona, particularly around the city of Phoenix. Before delving into the specifics of the Phoenix encounters, it is crucial to understand the legend of the El Chupacabra. The name, 
which translates to goat sucker in Spanish, originates from the creature's reported habit of attacking and drinking the blood of livestock, particularly goats. Descriptions of El Chupacabra vary, but it is often depicted as a reptilian creature, with leathery or scaly greenish-gray skin and sharp spines or quills running down its back. It is said to be approximately three to four feet tall, standing in in a fashion similar to that of a kangaroo. Reports of chupacabra sightings in Phoenix and other parts of Arizona began surfacing in the late 1990s and early 2000s. Eyewitness accounts describe creatures with a bizarre appearance, not unlike the common descriptions coming from Puerto Rico and Mexico. These creatures were allegedly found preying on small animals, such as rabbits, chickens, and occasionally wild desert fauna. The reports gained momentum as local media covered stories of unexplained livestock deaths accompanied by strange injuries, often puncture wounds with little to no blood left at the scene. The Chupacabra phenomenon in Phoenix, as with other places, is often met with skepticism. While many theories have been put forward to explain these sightings, ranging from misidentified wildlife to elaborate hoaxes, the believers maintain that the creature's existence is plausible, if not proven. Some have suggested that the harsh desert environment could hide unknown species or that the chupacabra is a product of genetic experimentation gone awry. Biologists and wildlife sex experts have frequently analyzed reports of the chupacabra, typically concluding that the descriptions and evidence align more with known animals, particularly canids afflicted with mange, which causes them to lose their hair and appear strange and unrecognizable. The obvious problem with this is that those reports are indeed likely canids with mange and that they have been misconstrued as a true chupacabra which is a humanoid with reptilian-like features, pale skin, large red eyes, a long tongue and quill-like spines running down its back. The legend of the chupacabra in Phoenix is not just a cryptid tale but also a cultural phenomenon reflecting society's fascination with the mysterious. It serves as a modern folklore narrative blending traditional myth-making with real accounts and also confusion of the real creature with known sick animals. There is a reality to this though, and it is that enough people from the southern United States and Latin America have seen and described the actual original El Chupacabra that it indicates it is indeed in these areas and may well be spreading out over time. The El Chupacabra of Phoenix is an elusive cryptid that captures the essence of Arizona's mythic landscape. While definitive evidence remains scarce, the power of the Chupacabra legend lies in its ability to ignite the imagination and provoke debate. The Chupacabra reports in Phoenix serve as a reminder of the thin and sometimes blurred line between reality, misinformation, and myth urging us to consider the possibility of undiscovered wonders in the natural world, even as we strive to separate fact from fiction. Whether the chupacabra is an undiscovered species, a case of mistaken identity, or a symbol of scientific stupidity and yet more suppression of the truth from the powers that be, it still remains an enduring part of Arizona's modern cryptid landscape. Number 2. The Mogollon Monster The American Southwest, with its expansive deserts and towering mountain ranges, has long been a haven for tales of the extraordinary and the unexplained. Among these tales is the legend of the Mogollon Monster, a cryptid reported to dwell in the wilderness of central and eastern Arizona. This elusive creature has captured the imagination of locals, cryptid enthusiasts, and researchers for decades, 
with its mysterious sightings and eerie anecdotes contributing to the impressive wealth of American folklore. The Mogala monster is described as a bipedal entity, towering at over seven feet tall, with a robust frame covered in long, dark hair. Its reported features include red eyes that some claim to glow in the dark, a pungent odor likened to that of dead fish or decaying peat, and a scream that can curdle the blood of those who hear it. The creature's name is derived from the Mogal on Rim, a topographical and geological feature that cuts across the state of Arizona, providing a remote habitat that could support such an elusive being. The first reported sightings date back to early indigenous tales and have since become a part of local oral traditions. Apache lore speaks of a creature called Big Hairy Man, a being both respected and feared, hinting at an early awareness of the creature's existence. These indigenous accounts form a prelude to modern sightings, which began to surface in the early 20th century. One of the most notable modern accounts came in the 1940s, when cryptozoologist Don Davis recounted an encounter during a Boy Scout trip in the region. He described a large, hairy creature with penetrating eyes that exuded an overwhelming sense of dread. His detailed description parallels numerous subsequent reports, lending credence to the continuity of the Mogollon monster's presence in these lands. Here is a more recent report. In 2019, a group of campers near Payson claimed to have encountered the Mogollon monster while hiking along the rim. They said they heard a loud, piercing scream that echoed through the woods, followed by heavy footsteps and branches snapping. They saw a large, dark figure moving swiftly through the trees, about eight feet tall and covered with thick, black hair. The creature had a human-like face, but with a flat nose and deep-set eyes. It smelled like rotten eggs and skunk spray. The campers ran back to their site and packed up their belongings, fearing for their safety. They reported their sighting to the local authorities, who dismissed it as a prank or a bear encounter. The existence of Himogala monster has sparked various theories. Some posit that the creature could be a relic hominid, such as Gigantopithecus, a large primate that once roamed Asia and may have found its way to North America. Others suggest that it could be a subspecies of Bigfoot or Sasquatch, known for their alleged presence across North America, with the Mogollon variety adapting to the unique desert environment. Regardless of its physical existence, the Mogala monster has undeniably become a part of Arizona's cultural identity. It features in local storytelling, tourism, and even the occasional festival. The cryptid has fostered a sense of mystery and intrigue around the wilderness areas it is said to inhabit, drawing in both curious visitors and enthusiastic researchers. The monster also serves as a symbol of the untamed and unexplored aspects of the natural world. Its story underscores the vastness of the wilderness and the potential for undiscovered species to exist in the less traveled corners of our planet. In many ways, the Mogala monster represents the human desire to believe in the extraordinary and to embrace the wonders that lie just beyond the edge of scientific understanding. Efforts to find concrete evidence of the Mogollon monster's existence have been numerous but thus far inconclusive. Expeditions have been mounted, with the latest technology in thermal imaging and sound recording deployed in the hopes of capturing definitive proof. Footprints, purportedly of the monster, have been cast, and hair samples have been analyzed, but a scientifically recognized discovery remains elusive. Despite the lack of irrefutable evidence, 
the search continues, driven by a blend of scientific curiosity and the hope of validating a piece of local legend. The quest for the Mogollon monster is as much about the journey and the exploration of the unknown as it is about the destination or the final proof of the creature's existence. The Mogollon monster, with its deep roots in the history and culture of Arizona, remains a compelling mystery. While its existence is debated, the search for this cryptid symbolizes a broader quest for knowledge and understanding of the natural world. Whether it be through the lens of a believer or the critical eye of a skeptic, the tale of the Mogollon monster invites us to consider the broader implications of our relationship with the wild and the mysteries it may still hold. As with all cryptids, the Mogollon monster occupies a space between reality and mythology, reminding us that there are always more questions to ask, and perhaps, new wonders to discover. Number 1. Arizona Dogman The Dogman, a cryptid reputed to have been seen in numerous regions across the entirety of the United States, is a notorious figure in American folklore and contemporary myth. Sightings of this creature have been reported consistently in Arizona, where the desert landscape and dense wilderness provide an ample backdrop for such mysterious occurrences. The Dogman, as described by witnesses, is a bipedal entity with canine-like features. It reportedly stands between 6 to 8 feet tall, has a muscular build, and is often said to have glowing eyes. The Dogman is sometimes compared to the werewolf of European folklore, yet it remains distinct in modern sightings, with a consistent animalistic nature and absence of a human transformation aspect. The legend of the Dogman is not a new phenomenon and can be traced back through centuries and even millennia of folklore from various cultures, which include stories of war creatures and man-beasts. In the United States, the Dogman gained prominent attention from alleged sightings in the Midwest, particularly Michigan, in the late 20th century. However, over time, the range of sightings has expanded to include many other states, such as Arizona. In Arizona, the vast and varied terrain ranges from the lowland desert areas of the Sonoran Desert to the high country forests and mountainous regions, all of which are conducive to the concealment of elusive animals or, as some believe, cryptids like the Dogman. Reports from Arizona often describe the Dogman as lurking in the remote areas, with several anecdotal accounts emanating from hikers, campers, and residents near woodland areas. Witnesses typically report feelings of intense fear and the sensation that they were being stalked by an apex predator. One of the most notable aspects of Dogman reports is the detail in the creature's description, the beast's fur, often dark, its snout, the pointed ears, and especially its eyes, which are described to reflect light with an intense glow, often amber or red. This particular feature has been a staple in many eyewitness accounts across the cryptid's lore. Here are a couple recent encounter reports. A woman named Squeezy was camping with her husband and two kids near the Chiricahua Mountains, Arizona, when they heard strange noises outside air tent at night. They peeked out and saw a huge, hairy creature walking on two legs around their campsite. It had a dog-like face, pointed ears, a long muzzle, and sharp teeth. It also had human-like hands and feet, and a long tail. It was about 8 feet tall and had reddish-brown fur. Squeezy and her family were terrified and stayed inside their tent until morning. They found large paw prints and claw marks around their campsite. 
They later reported their encounter to a local cryptozoologist who told them that they had seen a dogman, a mysterious hybrid creature that is often mistaken for a werewolf. A man named Sausage Fingers was driving on Highway 77 near Snowflake, Arizona, when he saw a large dark figure standing on two legs on the side of the road. He slowed down and noticed that it had a wolf-like head, pointed ears, yellow eyes, and a long snout. It also had muscular arms, hands with claws, and a bushy tail. It was about seven feet tall and covered in black fur. Sausage Fingers felt a surge of fear and drove away as fast as he could. He later discovered that the area was known for sightings of such creatures. Theories regarding the Dogman are varied. Some suggest the creature could be a misidentified known animal, such as a bear standing on its hind legs which can appear remarkably humanoid in posture and gait. Others propose undiscovered species theories or consider the Dogman to be a supernatural entity, citing its elusiveness and the eerie feelings reported by witnesses. Cryptozoologists, individuals who study cryptids like the Dogman, often speculate on the biological possibility of such a creature. They delve into cross-disciplinary approaches, combining elements of zoology, anthropology, and folklore to construct a hypothesis for the dogman's existence. In Arizona, as in other states, the dogman has made its way into the cultural zeitgeist, becoming a part of local legends and horror stories. Its impact is not limited to whispered tales around campfires but extends to various media such as internet forums, books, and podcasts, further cementing its place in the realm of American cryptids. In conclusion, the Dogman of Arizona is a captivating subject that stirs the imagination and challenges our understanding of the natural world. Whether the result of misidentification, psychological phenomenon, or most likely a genuine unknown creature, the Dogman's presence in the lore of Arizona has secured its place as an intriguing topic for both believers and skeptics alike. As with many aspects of the unknown, the Dogman stands as a testament to humanity's enduring fascination with the mysteries that lie in the shadows of our reality. Thank you for watching my friends. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there.